All right. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to show something I'm, I just started working on this week uh, that I kind of just kind of just came across and, and it was interesting to me so I thought I'd share it and I'm probably behind the curve on this and you guys are probably further ahead than I am on this but there's uh, one of the things one of the roles that we um, use as a foundational role is the alternating thumb roll which goes like this it's basically which you notice downbeat upbeat downbeat upbeat downbeat upbeat gives you that two full two you know, two beat kind of a feel, which is great. Um, but something that I noticed years ago that it, a thing that I really like about uh, claw hammer and drop thumb is that um, they've got it places the the fifth string accent on a different sixteenth note. It's one sixteenth note later. So instead of going one and one and it goes one da 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 so it goes, and I can't play the claw hammer, but instead of so you can hear how the, and so that's, a, to me, you can hear how the, the, the fifth string lands at a different rhythm, different place in the rhythm pattern. So I was always looking for something, a roll to use, a, a three-finger roll, to be able to accomplish that same thing. And I came across something this week, just taking something that we, you know, a lot of us use all the time anyway, which is a thumb, instead of thumb index, thumb middle, which is your alternating thumb roll, we, we use a thumb index, middle index type of a roll. So you can hear how that's going bop 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 So you got... So that it gives you a different kind of a feel. And, and people use that a bunch of different ways. Um, the thumb index, middle index, can also be used in a tune like uh, Little Rock Getaway. What I'm doing here is I'm playing, starting off with my index finger on the top string. I'm still just playing the pattern of index. Oh, yeah, it, it turns around at an odd place. You see my fingers are... Um, so... With that roll pattern in mind, we're going to place the emphasis on a different finger. We're going to we're going to start with the index finger and use it in, a, in with just first. I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can start to get used to this if you like the sound of it. Um, use it with just some chord shapes. But we're going to play an, what I call what I'm calling for myself an alternating index roll, which is in the simplest form. Just play these notes, the, this G major. Start with your index on the middle finger then your middle on the second string cross your index over and then play your play your thumb on the fifth string last It's not that hard once you get used to it. And again, I've just been working on it this week, so don't judge me. It sounds pretty bad at this point. Um, anyway, so with chord patterns, let's let's take it one level harder. Let's start on the bottom, the middle three strings, and then jump up. And you notice that you're hearing the fifth string. It's not it's instead of 
get, well, it doesn't show up much on the G chord there, does it? Let's do it on a different chord. So, um, so let's make it one level harder. Let's play it uh, on the two different sets of strings, the middle three and then the top three. That's kind of a cool sound. but I'm not comfortable with it yet. sound to it. Uh, now, <clears throat> let's apply that to a regular old bluegrass tune. Let's apply that to Cripple Creek, just for fun. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to hack this up. I'm sorry, because I just started doing this this morning, and I just wanted to, I just wanted to show it before I forgot it. So, alternating, uh, alternating thumb roll on the, on the starting part of Cripple Creek. <laughs> Let's do the exact same thing, but let's play it with the alternating index roll. The thing I like about it is that it gets away from that that feel of always having the fifth string be on the upbeat when you're using an alternating roll. Which I, I mean, I'm making I'm making blanket statements. I know it doesn't do that all the time, um, but it's uh, it's common that it does that. So I I really like the fact that I can play I can play. should put picks on. I like being able to play it that way. Now, as I go further down the road, I'll hopefully clean it up a little bit, and I'll post again how other ways that I find to use that. 